welcome to the Learning Zone with Ms. Beachley, Ms. Hall, and Ms. Bates. Good morning, second graders. Today is Wednesday. We are going to be talking about how to revise your opinion writing draft. So the first thing we're going to do is go back over our standard, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what these color-coded sections mean. Write an opinion piece that introduces the topic or book you are writing about. State an opinion. Supply reasons that support the opinion. Use linking words to connect opinion and reasons and provide a concluding statement or section. Our objectives for today, since we're revising. I can revise to improve my writing which means the quality of ideas, organization, sentence fluency, word choice, and voice. So we are on the third step of the writing process where it says revising. It says reread and add more details. We're basically going to be trying to make our draft better. So I've already gone over with you thinking about Oreo in giving your opinion, stating reasons, explaining why that's an important reason, and then stating your opinion again. Today we're going to go a little bit more in depth on the opinion writing, the actual format of opinion writing. So you're going to have an introduction, you're going to have a body of your writing, and then you're going to have a conclusion. I have created an example using the same prompt that I've been using. Remember, my prompt and your prompt are not the same. So my prompt was, should staff members have to attend staff meetings of a school, at a school? Okay. So in purple here, I have created the introduction. Okay. The introduction, it says, hook reader. And it also says to state your reasons, or sorry, state your opinion, and then state your reasons, okay? So I'm going to go over this with you really quickly so that you can know exactly what your introduction should look like, or just an example of one. Remember, you don't need to do the same thing as me. You actually, you shouldn't be doing the same thing as me, okay? I'm going to read this to you. Have you ever wondered what teachers do after school? Sometimes they have staff meetings. That is what is called my hook. I'm hooking the reader. I'm trying to get them interested in what my writing is about. Okay, so I'm asking a question there. Have you ever wondered what teachers do after school? Sometimes they have staff meetings. I strongly believe that teachers should attend staff meetings for a variety of reasons. There I stated my opinion. I strongly believe and I said my opinion on it. Here comes my reasons. Staff meetings help teachers communicate with each other, make decisions for student achievement, and discuss things that are going on in the school building. Those were my three to four reasons that I listed. So you need a hook, state your opinion, list your three to four reasons. That's your introduction. You should have an indent for, to start your paragraph, and you can just make your introduction with no other indents, okay? Now I'm on to the body of opinion writing, okay? The body says list reasons in separate paragraphs. So each reason is gonna get its own paragraph. Support reasons with facts and details. And if you remember when we talked about Oreo, we said it could be an example to support or an explanation, okay? So for mine, in red, I started a new paragraph by indenting. You left a little bit of space. Indent your second paragraph to start with your first reason. My first reason, first, oh, I said first of all. First of all, staff meetings help teachers make decisions that are best for student learning. That sentence came right from my web, my pre-writing web, okay, which should already be in your draft. For example, here's my example. 
Teachers discuss new ideas that can engage students in a meaningful way. So I stated my reason, then I gave an example. Okay, now I'm going to go on to a brand new paragraph for my next reason. Here's my brand new paragraph. Again, you need to indent right here, leave a little bit of space. Next, staff meetings help teachers understand what is going on in the building. For example, so here's my reason. Now I need to give an example. I have not given an example yet, but you need to make sure that you are filling in these spaces. You need to give an example for each reason or explain it. Here's my next reason. In addition, staff meetings allow teachers to ask and answer questions to administration. For example, okay, here's my reason. Now I need to come up with my example. My reason came right from my pre-writing web. Okay. And then at the bottom is my last reason. Finally, give the reason, then give the example. Okay. So these, everything in red, that's the body of my pair of my opinion writing. So opinion writing, we have the conclusion. The conclusion right here it says restate your opinion in different words. So up here you had to state your opinion. In your conclusion, you're going to have to state your opinion using different words. And you're going to end with a snap. Okay, just like you in the beginning you had to hook your reader. Now at the end, you're gonna end with a snap that gets people excited. Okay. So here is my conclusion of my paper. Remember. You need a new paragraph, so indent right here. After looking at all of the information about staff meetings, I know you will have to agree that all teachers and staff members should have to attend staff meetings. If students have to have homework, it's only fair that teachers have staff meetings. So this beginning part, I say, Oh, look at all these reasons that I just listed out. Now you'll have to agree that teachers should have staff meetings. That's my opinion, but it's restated in a different way. At the end, when I say it's only fair that teachers have staff meetings if students are gonna have homework, that's my snap, okay? I'm giving them something else to think about. I'm thinking, but they're automatically thinking, oh yeah, there is a comparison there. Teachers having staff meetings after school, that's similar to students having to do homework after school. So it's giving your reader something else to think about or wonder about, okay? So those are that's the example that I wrote for you, just so that you know and you see the format of all the indentations, okay? I'm gonna go back to my standard real quick so I can kind of explain the color-coded parts. In blue, it says, introduces the topic or book you are writing about. That is going to be your introduction, okay? So everything we just did, that introduction, that first paragraph, you're gonna be telling me, first of all, what you're even talking about, okay? You're gonna be talking about, should students have homework? And then you give your opinion on that. So when that's also in your introduction, state an opinion. You have to tell me what your opinion is. The body of your, pair, of your opinion piece, so all those different paragraphs are going to be supplying reasons that support your opinion. Okay, you can use linking words. One linking word is because. You can say, I feel that kids should have homework because, and then give your example. Okay, and that connects, those linking words connect opinion to the reason. Okay, it connects the two and provide a concluding statement or section. We're gonna be creating a concluding section because we're writing a whole paragraph. You're probably gonna have about two or three sentences in this paragraph like I did, okay? So each part of the standard we've gone over, it is your job to organize, and that's part of our objective, to organize, organization, our ideas. Okay, so the part of this is our ideas and our organization, our sentence fluency, word choice, and voice. For word choice, I used this paper a lot, the opinion words and phrases. I used all three of these sections to help me write. 
because I picked out some things like, um, I know you will have to agree that I use that at the end. In the beginning I used, I strongly believe, I think I used in all these reasons or for all these reasons, I think I used finally. Um, additionally, first of all, okay, lots of the words that I used came from this anchor chart. All right, make sure when you're writing or revising your draft, you still have your name, date, writing, and then this one should say um, revised draft or something like that, or you can just write re revision. All right, happy writing.